Hello and welcome to this segment of Mobile Tech Videos. This is Josh, also known as Connection 2005 on the XDA Developers Forum. Today we'll be talking about Odin one-click download and how to revert back to stock for Android 2.1 and 2.2 on the Samsung Captivate. Today we'll be working with a Samsung Captivate, build number 1008. It's an AT&T model. It's currently running Cognition 2.3 Beta 8 in stock form from you know, fresh out of the box from the ROM. Um, little to no applications. Uh, before you watch this video, it is recommended that you watch the Titanium Backup series in which I explain to you how to back up your user applications and data. If you know how to do that, then we can proceed at this time. The first thing we need to do is ensure our phone is in debugging mode. So click Settings at the bottom left. Settings is the option. Applications. Development. Check the box for USB debugging. Make sure it has a green check. Prompt will issue. If it isn't, say OK. And we can go back home. So I'll let you get caught up with that, and then we'll go to the next step. OK, once we have gotten our phone into USB debugging mode, we can talk about the Odin One Click files. They're provided for you in the More Info section at the bottom. Um, you can download either 2.1 or 2.2 Odin One Click. Today we'll be reverting to Odin One Click 2.1, uh, which is the JF6 build. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open that file. OK, once we have it open, we can connect our phone. This method, we'll be talking about the SDK tools. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with the SDK tools, please see my video on how to download the SDK tools and how to do basic commands with them as they'll be needed in this slide. It's actually very easy, so don't worry about too much command line. Uh, what we want to do now is confirm that we have connected to our device. So we're going to pull up a command prompt and change directories to where our SDK files are. Ours are under root C android-sdk-windows uh, and then tools for the ADB function. From here we want to do an ADB space devices. This shows that our Captivate is indeed connected as we can see there with the uh, device ID. So go ahead and do that, verify that it is connected and we'll go to the next step. Okay once we've verified our device by using the ADB devices command we want to switch back over to the Odin one click. We'll notice it says added. However, we are not quite ready to, uh, to start this process. We need to issue one more command. At this time, I want to stress again how important it is to make sure that anything you need is backed up, such as applications and user data. The following will wipe your applications. Uh, it will not wipe uh, things on the internal SD card, but it will wipe all applications and anything in the system folders, the data folders, and the bin folders. So once we've verified that, we can issue our ADB reboot download command. So now, issue the command, adb space reboot space download. Now we'll do a side-by-side -side here and press enter. The command issues and the phone enters download mode. Switch back to Odin one-click downloader and in a moment it will remove and then re-add the device. So we'll wait for that. There's the remove. And there is the re-add. When it re-adds, we'll get a COM port. There it is. We're on COM 13. So set the phone down. And now we can press the start button. When we do that, we'll start to get the dialog messages for what's going on. And notice that on the phone and one of the messages is do not turn off target. Don't turn off the PC or the phone at this time. The, the phone's being powered by the computer, so there's no worry about low battery there. But do try to make sure you have your PC plugged in at this time. So we've got the green status bar going across there. Uh, once that's complete, the phone will reboot and begin to launch the stock Android 2.1. At this time, we've uh, successfully flashed back to stock. Uh, we'll go over a few things here in a sec, so I'm going to let you get caught up and run the one click, and I'll see you at the next clip. Okay, once your phone has booted back up, uh, if it's still plugged in, you'll notice that the MTP application launches. That means uh, that's the default setting. If you want to turn that off, you can go back into settings, applications, development, and re-enable USB debugging and say OK. Uh, you can close anything on our computer side in the back if you'd like. 
So we close those. And anyway, so we go back to the phone, uh, go home. Um, we'll notice that the phone is completely back to stock, just the way it came out of the box. Uh, if we go to My Files, we'll notice that, as mentioned before, none of the files that are on the internal SD card actually got changed. Only the system directories were rerouted. But all of our applications are gone, as mentioned. So you'll need to use Titanium Backup to restore those. Uh, once again, I have the Titanium application um, video tutorial uh, on this channel as well. So what we want to do to verify all this is click Settings, then the Settings option. Scroll up, click About Phone. And we can see that we've got our firmware version 2.1, update 1. The baseband is the JF6, which that's the modem that it comes with. Build number is Eclair, and we're running 2.6.29 on the kernel version. So, this pretty much confirms that we have completed the reversion back to stock. This is a great method to use to start over. It's the method recommended to ROM. Uh, a new ROM, you always want to start from stock. Or if you're just looking to sell your phone and put it back to the out-of-the-box condition, then this is highly recommended. So now that we've seen how to do that, feel free to post up or comment on this video with any questions or comments you may have. You can visit XDA Developers for more support on uh, operations such as this. And feel free to browse any of the other videos I have available. I appreciate you for stopping by, and good luck.